let's get started guys. So first I'm going to start by applying some tape to my eye and you just want to follow the bottom lash line to make this line. And then I'm going to take the color Venus from my Naked Basic palette and apply this all over the lid to the inner corner and to the brow bone. So next I'm going to be taking the Naked 2 shade and I'm applying this with a fluffy brush to my crease. I'm going all the way to the tape with this and applying this just to my crease. I'm making sure not to go on the lid at all, keep it all on the crease and above. So next I'm going to take my L'Oreal Gel Eyeliner and I'm applying a thin line across the lid. Now the trick with the tape is you make the wing onto the tape slightly so that um, it'll have a nice crisp line and you just kind of wing that up as far as you would like the wing to go right against the tape and I'm just making sure that line is nice and black and when you take the tape off you'll have a perfect line. So now I'm applying the color Venus to the inner third of my bottom lash line and applying Naked 2 to the outer third of my bottom lash line. So I've already applied my True Match Lumi foundation and now I'm just going to highlight my face with my favorite um, cream highlighter and this is the Miron Celebre Pro HD Cream. I'm just going to be taking this on a concealer foundation brush and apply this under my eyes, nose, and chin. And this is where the high points of your face are and where you want the most light to be attracted to and you want to pull forward. Remember, whatever you highlight will pull focus as whatever you um, contour will sink back and create definition. Tip. I'm going to be using my contour stick by M Cosmetics and just apply this to the contour lines as usual down the nose to really shape it. We're going to go bottom lip to make our lips look fuller when applying lipstick and to the contours of our forehead. I do have a larger forehead so I do want it to appear smaller so that is why I do that. So first we're going to blend out the light and then the dark. With our sweet look, we really want to keep the cheeks nice and light, so I'm going to be using Max Dainty blush here with a Sigma F40 um, angled blush brush, and we're just going to apply this to the backs of our cheeks and kind of pull forward slightly. And this does have a little bit of light reflectant properties in it, so it does kind of pull. Focus and give your cheeks a nice highlight, which brings them forward. Just for the heck of it, we're going to go a little bit on the nose, sides of the forehead. We are just going to be adding a NYX Jumbo Lip Pencil Gloss. This is in color 720, and I'm just going to apply this to my lips. And that is it for the sweet look. Let's go on to the sultry look. So we're going to start off by taking a flat shader brush with the color Garnet from the Loac Pro palette and applying this to the outer third of the eyelid and I'm just packing this on here and then slightly blending it out as I'm packing that on. Now I'm taking my blending brush and blending this all out. Blending is key for this look. Next I'm taking the color Espresso, which is a nice deep brown and I'm just going to apply this to the outer third of my eyelid as well and I'm applying this kind of in a moon shape going along the lash line slightly. Then I'm going to take my blending brush again and blend this all out for a seamless perfect look. Don't mind the fallout guys, we'll clean that up later. And next we're going to be taking black and we're just going to put this on the very very outer third of the eyelid. Um, you want to keep this really close to the outer third and lash line and then we're going to go ahead and take our brush and just blend the espresso and black together. And we're also going to sweep along the crease to just blend it all in so the colors fade. Always go back with a big fluffy brush and blend out any harsh edges that are seen. Now we're going back with the color Garnet on our lower lash line and applying this. And then we're going to take Espresso and put this in the outer third of our bottom lash line and blend that out. And then we're going to add a little bit of black to the bottom as well just to bring it all together and blend that out with a big nice fluffy brush. Then let's apply some eyeliner because it kind of got lost there with the shadow reapplication. So I'm just using a pin from BH Cosmetics to do this. I'm also going to take that gel liner once again and apply that to the bottom lash line to really smoke it out and bring in and tie in all the darkness. So I'm going to blend that out with my finger. So adding on to this look for our blush, I'm going to just use this Stila Custom Color Blush. And this is the self-adjusting bronze color. And I'm just going to apply this to the backs of our cheeks again. This is going to warm up our face as well as have a pink undertone due to the blush applied before. So for this we're going to go to our forehead as well. For our lips of this look we're going to go for a red gloss and this is the Balm Cosmetics I believe and um, it's just a red gloss. Okay. 
using red gloss if you mess up. Just take your concealer and a small concealer brush. And we're just going to apply this to where it feathered or messed up. Alright my loves, so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed my sweet and sultry look for prom or any special occasion that you are attending. Um, I really like how it's red and very smoky and the eyes kind of incorporate a metalish rustic red with the garnet from the L'Oreal Pro Palette. And um, I really like how the sweet look is very sweet and very wearable. You could also wear that um, just out on a date even. It's very, very flattering. So I really hope you guys enjoyed these two looks created by me. And don't forget to please subscribe, guys, and comment and like. Do not forget to like this video, guys. This is my entry for the NYX Face Awards. Do not forget to like this video, guys. Please help me out by liking this video. Every like equals a vote. So please help me out and like down below. So anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I hope to see you next time in my next video. Bye, guys. Have an amazing day. Mwah.